So this is you filming what you would be seeing. Okay, what, what do we got going on here? What do well, I have to do? You, do you feel where the lens is? Oh yeah, right there. What do you think that is in front of you? Um, Walmart? There's a pole. Walmart is behind pole, you. Uh, back there. That's Walmart. It's Amanda. Quick selfie. <laughs> Chilling at the light. Yeah. Coming up on the left, we're about to pass Monadnock and Randall Hall, the luxury freshman dorms. Oh. So, there we go. Going down Blake. Puppy in the road, don't hit it. It's on the sidewalk. So, are we ready? Are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. We're rolling. We're sitting out here on the park bench. It's Mark Osterman and Amanda Hayford. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Tuesday, April 8th, 2014. And, uh, you know, we're just chilling. Enjoying a couple brewskis, sitting on the picnic table, and uh, Amanda's doing this project. It's all about me. So she's asking me what I think it looks like out here. And I mean, I, you know, I don't really know what it looks like out here, but I have a pretty good idea. What if I was filming you and you didn't know? Well, that wouldn't be weird because I wouldn't know. Are you like rolling right now? No. Huh. I want to slay! <laughs> Toga parties, dude. I want to. I'm pumped. I hope it's a legit toga party. That's what I heard. I mean. So, can you explain your disability and how it happened? Um, yeah, well, I'm totally blind and I lost my sight uh, almost three years ago now. Three years in June, so. Um, and I was in a car accident. I was living out in Oregon. I was driving up. Uh, to go skiing early in the morning and I fell asleep at the wheel and um, yeah I ended up in the river on the, on the side of the road and I was in a coma for like 10 days in Portland um, and when I woke up I couldn't see. You know, I grew up around here in New Ipswich, and I was like real into sports and skiing and fishing and outdoors type stuff like hiking, camping. And I was I worked in the ski industry for like ten years um, in New Hampshire and Vermont. Skied a lot in Utah, California, Oregon, Washington ski instructor, a lifty, snowmaker, kind of did it all. So, that was my life. I feel like people have always been nice to me, you know, I mean, most people. I mean, obviously, you know, you get a handful of assholes that are not nice, but, you know, they can go fuck hey, themselves. Good, yeah, hey, you want They're one? behind you. Yeah. Um... Let me get you a button. I don't know how to describe this to you. I'm sorry. Hey, it's on your you're King of the castle. You don't have to move. Right. King of the castle. You, King, of the King of the castle. King of the castle. Yeah, since I've been blind, I've definitely, like, rely on people's generosity and just, like, helpfulness a lot more. 
just people helping me get to where I need to go, or maybe I need uh, help seeing something, or doing something on a computer, maybe, or I don't know, stuff like that, just crossing the street, finding my way back to my dorm room, or to class, or the DC, you know, you got the lunch ladies, they love me, they help me out, everybody's helping me out, and it kind of sucks, because I don't, I mean, I like to do stuff for myself, I always have, and I still do, you know, as much as I can, I guess, on my own, but, um, there are times when I just need, um, somebody's help. I don't know. That's like one of the hardest things, though, too, is just thinking about what I'm going to do with my life um, in terms of work. And um, yeah, just something that I enjoy doing as much, uh, you know, as I can. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't know what the fuck I want to do for work or. I don't know if I'm that interested, you know, like, I like politics, but, uh, you know, I don't want to, I'm not going to run for mayor, or any, you know, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what I want to do with it, or what's really even available. It's not like, it was easy when I skied every day, and like, that was my life, I loved it, it was just like, I loved being up on the mountain, just, it was awesome, you know, and now it's like, you know, I can't, it's like I've had everything, I've had my whole life, like, stripped from me, so I'm trying to figure out, um, what to do next, and I'm having a hard time with that. I've only been blind for like three years, and I'm, uh, I guess, still trying to kind of adjust to the new life. Yeah. Like I said, I'll keep just like trying to link birds and then get like, especially if I get really close to the edge. Okay. Uh, just, be like, just be like left, right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I got those before. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, it's hard, but. Um, you know, I still have a lot of fun, and I'm still, you know, happy most of the time, <laughs> and I, yeah, I've, I've worked really hard to get to where I am now, um, just in terms of, like, adapting to this new lifestyle, and there's a lot that goes into that, you know, just learning how to get around with my cane and, like, use um, technology, like my laptop, my phone. <coughs> um, um, you know, learning to read Braille. to basically relearn how to do everything. It's a lot, but I think I'm doing okay. Yeah, I love it. It's given me an opportunity to come to Keene State College, which is pretty cool because I probably never would have gone to college otherwise. I would have just kept, you know, being a ski bum, which was fun. But, uh, you know, college is pretty... <laughs> Pretty fun too. <laughs> we did it. We laugh until we think we die. Barefoot on a summer night. Never could be sweeter than with you.